In 1997, Tulchia Shipyard was ordered to construct the vessel RMS Mulheim. The ship had a hold capacity of 12,850 cubic meters and a container capacity of 130 TEU, 20-foot containers. The vessel was launched in 1999 and was owned by a German company. On March 22, 2003, the RMS Mulheim was on a voyage transporting scrap car plastic from Cork to Lübeck. The officer on watch attempted to stand up from his seat, but his trousers got caught in the chair lever. This simple everyday mistake caused him to lose his balance, fall over, and consequently get knocked unconscious. When the officer awoke, the vessel was heading directly towards the rocky Cornish coastline. Unfortunately, there was not enough time to avoid the collision, and the ship crashed into the rocky shore. In October 2003, the ship broke in half due to the rough seas. There's the shipwreck there. So I'm gonna go close to it and see if I can get inside. I'm not sure I'm gonna get on board there because it's a bit um it looks a bit steep and stuff, so I'm gonna go on board down here and avoid this stuff here as well as well while doing that. So yeah, there's a helicopter here as well. Here you can see half of the front front end of the ship. And um I don't know what this ship used to carry, but um you can see in there a little bit. So um yeah. So you can see all the internal workings there. You can see all like the um pumps and you know god god knows what you know engines whatever I think, I think that might be the engine there maybe I, I don't really know actually though so we're inside and this is what i thought the the engine thing was yeah it's really kind of fascinating the, the inner workings inside here I climbed all the way up there, which is quite dodgy and quite risky. I've done it anyway. Uh, so now I'm on the top here. About the top side. I'm dealing with a bit of a, a bit of a uh, angle ache. Oh, won't want to fall down there. Um, let's go. So as you can see, there's a lot of people who scratched the name onto here. So here's inside. Pretty um, kind of rusty in there. What you kind of expect, I guess. <sighs> um. Oh no. Should I go down there, guys? Um. I guess so. I think I'm gonna go try go down here. All right. Hurt my bum a little bit, but it's alright. So it's kind of slid down, not that bad. Um, <laughs> see those stairs there? They're like kind of straight, I could walk in them. It's like, um, that's just like slightly uphill. <laughs> um, alright, so let's, uh, let's have figure this out. Right, so I'm hoping all this insulation ain't asbestos. Don't think it is, but, you know, if it is, I guess it is probably like, wet, so it'll be alright. So here looks like the kitchen, because there's a sink down there. Right, I'm going to try and hold it like the um, to the angle of the ship instead of the angle off like the actual angle. To try and uh, make it so you're not, you know, dizzy, you guys. So that's what came out of that hatch there. That's what came in. Uh, and um, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to slide down this again. I'm gonna hold on to these. These things again. Sorry for it. I've got a weld in there. 
this was a bit more grippy this bit. Now there's stairs going down to um that thing. So um yeah, that's, that's pretty much inside. It's kind of a bit of a small inside, but you know it's got all what you need. There's the stairs down to where the engine room would be. Um so yeah, I'm gonna get out now, I'm gonna take a few shots of the other camera and, and yeah. Oh there's a shower there. Oh it used to be a shower. <laughs>